In this video, I will shortly introduce you to the Golf GPS app made for the Fitbit, Ionic, and Versa. What you see here is the Fitbit simulator. And on the right screen, you can see that you can change the location of your Fitbit device. So currently, I'm in the Netherlands um, near my home course. So let's move it a little bit away, just in the randomness. And if we go to apps, here we have my beta version of the app, we just launch it. In reality, this doesn't happen so fast, but what it currently does, it look, looks to your location and it shows you the five nearest courses that there exist. Well, on top of it, you will see my home course, another course, and you see the distance to it. It will show you up to five. So you can, can just click on a course and then it will show you that it's three kilometers of the whole one to the green, which is the, indicated with the green bar, and it's three kilometers. I know that this course is here. So what you see now is that it's only 297 kilometers away. Now I want to show you what happens if you are already on this course. Sure you want to go back, back, exit the application. Okay. Let's launch it again. And you will see that it immediately goes to the course because there's only one course around you and you're standing on top of it and it will load the course directly. Again, in reality, this could take up to a few minutes because first you need to have the GPS location fixed then we need to retrieve the information from uh, the website, from my database and then you would load it on the, on the course. Okay. Then again, I want to show you another option. When you don't have any internet connection or you forgot your phone at home, you can go to this, you will see this home, uh, home screen. It will show you there's a GPS fix, the phone connection is okay, but sometimes you cannot retrieve the courses. Uh, most of the cases because there's no phone connection. If you go to stored courses, you will see all the courses that are stored uh, on the device. So you can use the device offline. The Fitbit Ionic has a GPS, so it will full function. The Versa uh, uses the GPS of the phone, so you will still need a phone connection, but internet is not required. Then again, on the stored courses, you would uh, go to the screen. Now, I move over to a different course, and this is a 36 course, and it's one of the very few courses in Google Maps which shows you the, uh, the holes. Yes, we go back, and then we press the location, this is hole 1, the T-box, find new course. It shows you the blue course is only zero kilometers and the other one is 100 meters away, the other one 200 meters away. So let's go to the blue course. This is a little bit of a bug. It orders yellow is a bunker because sand is yellow and then we have the distance to the green. Then we see here hole one and this is track which basically means if you uh, swing it will track the distance that you have walked since your last swing. It has a built-in detection of swing, so it automatically restarts. This is the home screen, but after it, it will show you this screen. If you click on it or you swing, you will receive this screen. The restart the shot distance tracking. If you press yes, it's still on zero. This is the whole number, and right below you will see the time. This, all these settings can be set 
in the settings menu and the settings you can uh, uh, access them via the Fitbit app on your phone. So let's move a little bit. Imagine that we have hit the ball, we are walking, then you see the bunker is closing in, you already walked 27 meters or yards, doesn't matter. And if you're walking, well, you, you hit a very good drive of 200 meters and you saw you're 29 meters off this bunker and only 139. Okay. Now, let's imagine that you're on the hole and the algorithm for hole advances works like this. It shows you 99 meters. If you're walking around the hole for a few seconds, then it goes, oh, okay, we can already skip to the next hole. Look, there it is. Now it's on hole two. So let's move over to hole two. Now we see a little bit of water in here. And actually that it's this water. It's on 91 meters on the back and 78 meters on the front. If you want to switch holes manually, you can just press the buttons on the right side like this. And now you can move all the way to hole five, for example. And I don't know exactly, but I think is this hole five? No. Oh, it's on hole six now. One half hole five. And this was hole five. Move, go to hole six. And you see the white mark, and this is a dark leg. You can see that there's a little bit of dark leg in this hole. Whites are dark legs. You can add bunkers, waters, and uh, dark legs on the website smartwatchgolfgps.com. There's another video where I explain how to edit your course. So basically, this is all to it that you need to know about the app.